Hey YouTube friends, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, first of all, let me start off by saying that if you didn't see my last video, it was a really good one. It was called 15 Reasons to Sell on eBay and Why You Should Have an eBay Store Subscription. And if you didn't see it, then you should go back and watch it. Because in that video, I explained how I did a one-day sale and made a lot of sales when sales weren't happening. Well, last night, I kind of did the same thing again. I went ahead and did a one-day sale with items that had been sitting for a little while. Um, and Well, really, I did a one-day sale for a lot of items. And I was really happy because I got two pages of items that sold. So that was a really, really good thing. And if you want to know how to do that, or you want to know a little bit more about eBay store subscriptions, if you don't have one or you're unsure, then go back to that video and watch it and then you can see how well it does but watch it after this video all right so we got a lot of items to pull so let's go get those items <music> all right so the first item is actually on the game shelf and it's right here so i'm going to set this down this is the item right here all right so this is a really neat find. This is probably from the, I'm going to say maybe around the 60s, 1960s. Uh, this is an official Cub Scout Coppersmith kit. It's, it's uh, certified by the Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts. This was a really good find. The, what's unique about this is I looked it up on eBay. There was about four others on eBay, but every one of them was all used up. This one had extra parts and pieces and it comes with copper sheets. And as you can see in the pictures, you can you can imprint and make pressed copper. This one actually came with copper sheets that were unused. But, uh, so I don't know, 12, 14 of them, something like that. And that was a very rarity. So I listed it and you know what? I put that in my description. So whenever you do your descriptions, a lot of times I leave my descriptions kind of barren, I guess you could say. Uh, but if an item needs to be described real well, I'll describe it real well because that's what's going to make the sale. So I put in there that there are several others on eBay if you look around, but most of them do not have unused copper. This one has unused copper sheets and it'll really be a fun activity for you or your kids. And it sold pretty quickly. Um, it sold for $31.49 and the buyer paid the shipping. So... Make sure you put it good descriptions if you got something that you really want to sell and make some money on. Right, so the next item we're going to go to is going to be over here in a J3 bin. Uh, J3 bin has been a slow bin lately. There's not been a lot of sales. But this item right here sold back here. So let me set that down right there. Put the lid back on this tub. And I know it's pretty difficult to see, but this right here let me spin around is a set of golf balls and some towels from st andrew's golf course and that's located in scotland and that's got the logo on it you'll see the picture up here i'll put it right up here the st andrew's towels and golf balls they sold for 12 dollars plus the buyer paid the shipping all right so the next item is sold in the b1 bin over here and this is it right here this is a really a cute little figure. I don't know if you want to call it. I call it a little angel baby. Uh, this was made by Montefiore, the Montefiore collection. And that's really not anything super popular. Or the name is not really anything outrageous. Um, but it's just a cute little, little guy. Uh, picked this up and realized this isn't a big seller. I, I thought he was just super cute. I thought he would make some money. Uh, but he's not, he's not a big seller. So I took him and listed him, got an offer. Um, the offer fell through. So I kept him listed and he finally sold for $7.99 plus shipping. So now nah, you can't always have a big payday on something that looks cute. Sometimes you can, but not always. So I went ahead and pulled the, the fourth item and that was these right here. It's a pair of Marco Vissi shoes. Uh, you can see right there it says marco Vissi. they're a large size 13s i believe yeah 13. Uh, they're they're pretty good they're old vintage shoes not a popular color not you know something you want specific i guess but uh i had a person contact me and he's another reseller and he was wanting these shoes uh to resell 
I uh, was wondering if I would give them a good price and I thought about it and I said, you know what? I'll just make a little bit, a few dollars over what I paid for it and then I'll sell them to him and then he can re resell sell them. Nothing wrong with that. Letting somebody else take a, a gamble on something and also uh, learn how to be a better reseller by selling items. So I sold these for $14.99 plus shipping and uh, John, I hope you can take these and make some good money off of them. All right, we're going to go into the Believe bin. I haven't been in this bin for a while. I got two bids. All right, let's go and get this off there. There we go. And I sold this. I got to be very careful of it. This is a Bluebird house or birdhouse. It's made by Radco. It's still got its tag. It's already bagged up, ready to put in a poly bag box and ship it out. This sold for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, we're gonna go over here to J3 bin. Uh, just listed this yesterday. It's been sitting for about a week since I picked it up. This is a Ray-Ban sunglass case. That's really nice. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Um, I've said in my videos before, I like selling eyeglass cases, especially name brand. Uh, generally, I can get $9.99 for them. So if you find them, you can usually pay $0.99 cents or less for them at thrift shops or garage sales, $0.25, cents, things like that. And as long as they're in really good condition and everything still works on them, you'll get the money. Okay, we're going to come into this B1 bin, if I can get it open. And in here is a cookbook. It's the Air Power Frying Book. Uh, you saw this recently in a thrift haul. This sold for $22 shipped. And right above is the A1 bin. And we sold this file folder. This is a leather file folder. Just a little simple little thing. It sold for $12 plus shipping. All right, now we're going to come to the M1 bin. And we sold something you probably wouldn't ever think you'd sell, but you probably seen my garage sales and stuff for a quarter. And that's these old staple removers. Uh, it's usually an Ace brand. There it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Ace on the top right there. Um, and on the side. And this sold for $9.99 shipped. All right, so the last item that sold today is another good one. And it's right here on the bottom. Yeah, that's it. All right, and as you can see, I started taking all my coffee mugs and putting them in the boxes because they stack a whole lot nicer when they're in the boxes. Uh, inside this box is a Disney Jiminy Cricket coffee mug. It says a little charm goes a long way. This sold for $14 and the buyer paid the shipping. So it was a really good sale. I really was happy when I found it. And I showcased it in a video, I don't know, a couple weeks ago and told you mugs like this was a good one to find. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go package all these items and take them to the post office. All right, I just came out of the post office, dropped everything off. I did change my shirt, as you notice, and the reason being is I convinced myself that I'm going to go to a thrift shop. So as long as I go to a thrift shop and it doesn't have loud music or there isn't a lot of crowd or isn't real busy, and today is usually like a half-off day sale and so forth, so it's usually fairly busy. But just in case it's not, I wore a shirt that has a pocket, so that, that way I can take the camera and mount it on the pocket and walk around in the thrift shop. But if I do go to a thrift shop and it's not crowded, you'll see that in this video. And if not, well, this will be the end of the video. So I'm heading out, see what happens. Thrift shop, consignment shop number one. That's where I'm going into first. I'll see what I can find. All right, so I just got out of that thrift shop and it was a really pricey place. I mean, they wanted their money worth. So anyway, that's what I could say about that. So I'm off to the next thrift shop. All right, so I decided to stop by an Old Faithful and that's the Salvation Army store. 
so i'm getting ready to go in there and see what they can find hopefully i can find some good stuff every once in a while i find a couple of things sometimes i can find a cart full of stuff it just depends on what kind of day it is but i'm gonna swing in there real quick see what i can find i picked up a couple of things i'll show you when uh, i get back to the treasure center and meanwhile i did pick up one thing i'll show it to you real quick since i'm coming to a stop um, i picked up these little jars of glitter which isn't actually so little it's a four ounce jar of glitter and i think i picked up about six eight of them and i'm actually not going to sell them i'm going to send them to my daughter because uh with the cost of shipping that i can ship all those and the price of glitter nowadays believe it or not it's cheaper for me to buy it like that and send it to her in the mail than it is for her to go to the store and buy it retail so i'm going to take all that and send it to her all right so i'm back in the treasure center i did pick up a couple little items nothing stupendous to talk about or brag about but a couple things that's going to make a little bit of money uh one of the other things i picked up was this shirt this is a get a life shirt it's still brand new with the tag you can see the tag underneath the arm right there it said 1244 original price but i looked online and these shirts are still selling for about 12 dollars, so that's good and we're having a half off sale it said 5.99 paid three dollars for it so not a big money maker but something i actually thought i was going to keep it for myself i still might i don't know i in this bag right here is a bunch of glitter and as you can see these are spectra glitter this is gold there's all different colors in there uh they're still new unopened this is a four ounce size now i'm gonna tell you if you can get glitter like this at a four ounce size for cheap like 99 cents pick it up glitter has been something that sells a lot of people do crafts with glitter this one right here will sell i think online uh, and i could be wrong but i think it's like seven dollars 99 cents maybe give or take but when you pick up a whole bunch of it like that then you can put them in groups and lots and you you know spend about five dollars i think uh 99 cents i picked up eight of them so like eight dollars but that's about forty dollars worth of glitter but these aren't going to go up for sale on my ebay store uh these are actually going to go to my daughter she does a lot of crafts and she's always telling me if i see glitter pick it up so i did uh, i grabbed this some of the little items just throw in the store this is a ever built and it's a what is it furnace gas water heater universal temperature or universal thermal coupler that's what i'm trying to say universal thermal coupler that's what that is uh not a big sale nine dollars and 99 cents uh op unopened package of wrangler cards have no idea probably not worth anything but i do pick up some unopened packs of cards like this uh wrangler marlboro different things like that and i'll lot them together and sell them so uh rubber dog boots for pets pet paws that's what that is you see me talk about those before i pick them up um usually like this was a dollar 99 and they'll usually sell for nine to twelve dollars inside this bag and i hope it works i haven't tried it out yet is a um show you black and decker gizmo let me see if i can get the bag open real quick that's what this is this is a black and decker gizmo can opener and you see it's just a under mount can opener paid a couple dollars for it this is selling for anywhere from about oh, i don't know about 30 dollars online right now various prices new ones used ones just different prices so 25 30 dollars is what i'll probably get for it all right what else what else i picked up this wooden figure um you can see it's kind of interesting let me see if i can get trying to get the best light for it it's hard to see i thought it was really neat it's hand carved it's a mother and child it's real real unique real different uh you can see it's been hand sawn and cut so that's well a lot of woods chainsawed or big saw this is actually you can tell, see the hand sewing sawing cut um i don't know where it's made it's different it's unique uh, a couple dollars into this and i'll have to see if i can find anything that resembles or close to this but because these kind of things can sell for nine dollars or they can sell for a hundred dollars so i just have to see what i can find but it's definitely different and unique so anyway all right picked up another anchor uh, hawking fire king cup 
this one needs a little bit of cleaning. It says, I don't know if you can see it, it says Fire King, made by Anchor Hawking. And like I said, it does need a little bit of cleaning, but this one cup right here, if you've seen recently, I sold a Jadeite one for $24. This one will sell for $12 to $14. And then the last item I picked up, don't ask me why, it's nothing. It's uh, a Caesar's Palace. You can see it in the light right there, Caesar's Palace. Um, trying to get it over here where you can see it. There you go. You can probably see a little bit better. It says Caesar's Palace. It's like a little apothecary jar or something. Had 50 cent off of it, so I paid a couple dollars for it, and I have no idea what it's worth. Might not be worth, but a couple dollars. But again, I just I like the apothecary kind of stuff, and this said Caesar's Palace from Casino in Las Vegas. So, hey, I got an ashtray that's like the same thing. Maybe I'll put it with the ashtray and sell it. But I don't know. We'll just see. Anyway, that was all I picked up. Not a whole lot of unique stuff. Just went out and got myself out and changed the pace, I guess. Well, that's all that I got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some things that you could sell that you can make online. I hope you saw some items that I picked up that maybe you would and wouldn't pick up. So to all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone else just watching, new subscribers, and everyone that just stopped by to say hi and watch the, watch the channel, have a great day. Take care, be safe, and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.